Welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with another morning coffee video, boo, and I have missed you on morning coffee, okay? So today's message is all about letting go to become that girl. I'm going to give you five keys in this video on how you can let go to become the girl, to become the woman that God keeps showing you, and to really step into her and pursue her in an authentic way, okay? I'm gonna be sharing that with you today, but before we get into this video, boo, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube family. Also, your biggest takeaway, make sure you always comment that down below to bless somebody else in the comment section. And if you're ready, boo, then I am ready to pour into you, okay? So before I get into this message, I want to be honest with you guys. This is not going to be some message about how you can do these quick, quick five things and bam, you're that woman. This is really a message about showing you how God will use even the cracks in your foundation to help heal you and take you to another level. Okay. So today, first off, I got to tell you about a story about myself here in the last year where I had a crack in my foundation and how it led to more cracks and how eventually it led to me to become. Because when you wanna become that girl, you have to realize become means to begin to be. The definition of become is begin to be. And that means you are beginning to be something. But the reality of it is, as many times we are just trying to be it today instead of beginning and going through the process of it. So real quick, earlier in the beginning of 2021 into 2020, my parents were starting to go through a divorce. And I don't know about you guys, but when your parents go through a divorce, it starts to shake you up and the reality of it was is I honestly thought I was standing good in God I felt I felt secure in God I felt great in God but the reality is there were still some cracks in my foundations and what I did is I built a ministry on top of those cracks I built other things not realizing that there were these cracks down there and that the moment that my parents divorced that crack opened wide open what that meant is I was still coming to God, but my heart was far from God. I was still seeking God. I was still coming to devotion, but the reality of it, I was angry. He let me down. I mean, I got saved and my mama got saved and my daddy got saved. And I just believed that God was going to keep doing major things through us. But the reality of it was, is now I'm sitting here in this midst of a divorce, an ugly divorce at that. And I didn't understand what God was doing. I was upset with God. I said, God, but didn't I give you my life? Didn't I give you these years of purity? Didn't I give you all of me? And now look what's happening. My very foundation is cracking. The people that I came to that prayed with me, that overseen me, that helped me build this ministry, that invested in my dreams long before I had anything, their relationship, their marriage is cracking. So I'm cracking. And the reality is I began to get so hard-hearted towards God. I mean, I came to devotion. I definitely prayed. But there were certain things that was off limits now to God in my heart. There were certain things that I couldn't talk to God about because guess what? You just cracked me even more right? And so today I want to tell you about how these cracked foundations can lead to more cracks, right? And so that cracked foundation quickly made me run into the arms of the first man that said he could love me. That crack from my family led to a whole nother crack that I ran into the arms of the first man that said, I love you and I'm not going nowhere. Because maybe he's honest and maybe he's truthful and maybe he's not going to leave like everyone else did. And really quick, I realized that every crack was leading to more cracks. And I want to tell you guys, I know I'm talking to you about letting go to become that girl. But I think the first homework you have to do is you've got to look at yourself. You've got to acknowledge you, sis. And the reality is you can't become until you start to deal with you. And the reality of it was, is I was standing there just, I was a broken woman that really was a broken little girl. That was all I was. Nothing had really changed. I mean, I built a ministry. I did this walk with God, but I was still walking and I was building on a crack foundation. And my crack foundation came from my childhood, which then came from the divorce and just new cracks, right? Building on top of each other. And the reality of it was, is I began to get myself in a place of a lot of, of sin real quick, a lot of sin. And that right there led me to realizing that if I don't acknowledge the issues of Morgan, I'm going to keep living a life operating out of this crack. I don't know about you, but I've went to many relationships at time where I was with the same man. He just had a different look. It was the same exact person. He had the same demeanor, the same words he spoke to me, but it was just a different look now. See, I kept, I kept 
keeping this thing in my life because I was not able to deal with the cracks in my foundation. So the very first thing says, before you can really become that girl God is calling you to be, you've got to acknowledge your story. You've got to deal with you because there are some cracks in you that if you don't get this crack fixed, God says you're going to keep bringing the same stuff back into your life. So just like when my dad left, I ran to the first arms that said he loved me, but really all he was was a modern day replication of the same man that just left. See, I want you to realize that I was just re I was getting the same thing back around. And so I want you to first acknowledge your story. The next thing I want you to do is accept how this thing affected you and changed you. And I think the reality of it is when things happen to us in our lives, we don't accept what happened, but we also don't accept how it might have changed us. And I think the reality is I tried to run away from my childhood. I tried to run away from a lot of stuff that I didn't accept that this did happen to me and this did change me. And this is how it changed me. It made me hardened and it made me fearful, it made me scared towards men, it made me nervous about this. I, you have to accept your story, acknowledge that, accept what happened to you, but accept how it changed you. Because when you start to accept it, that means you're not running from it. You can say, you know what, when I was 14, my stepfather touched me. I accept that. It did happen. I know I played with it. I know I ran from it, but it happened. I accept that. And now what I do acknowledge is it did change me. After that happened, I started to, to wild out. I started to act different. It did change the girl that I was. You have to learn how to accept it, that it happened, and then accept that it did change you. And once you get through the acceptance of this stuff, then you got to learn to forgive yourself. And the reality is when I was talking to you about these cracks in the foundation, there were some things I had to forgive for myself. There was times I blamed myself. There was times I was mad at myself for being so naive. There were times I was upset with how, how do you have all this wisdom, but when it came to this man, everything dropped, right? I was so upset with myself. So the first thing you do, the next thing you have to do, boo, is you got to forgive yourself and you got to forgive others. You got to have that real conversation like, you know what? You knew he wasn't good from the beginning, but you accepted him. And now you've got to forgive yourself for that. Learn your lesson. Move forward. Forgive yourself. I'm not mad at you anymore. I forgive you for not knowing enough. I forgive you for being naive. I forgive you for overlooking the red flags. I forgive you for laying down with him. I forgive you. When you forgive yourself, you can forgive others, okay? My next thing is you've got to realize this. And this happened after I, after seven years of purity, I messed up. And I remember feeling so empty inside and I was in my apartment and I was upset with myself and the Lord said, go to the mirror. And I went to my mirror and he said, what are you? What was standing here? And when there was no calling, no gift, no nothing, it was just a broken little girl that turned into a broken woman. That's all it was. And he said, but can you realize that you can't fail me? And I want, that's your next tip today. When you've made all the mistakes and you feel like you're not becoming and you're supposed to build the business and you're supposed to be walking worthy, you're supposed to be walking in purity and you're supposed to be further in your life by now and you feel like a failure, I want you to realize the same words God reiterated to me, I'm reiterating it back to you. Realize you cannot fail God. If you could fail God, sis, I wouldn't be standing here today. If you could fail God, sis, nobody would have cheered when the prodigal son came back home. If you can fail God, then none of us would exist today because I want you to realize you cannot fail God and you got to talk start talking to the enemy and every time he tells you you're a failure every time he tells you you did not do what God had called you to do every time he shows you your imperfections every time he shows you the places you fall in short you've got to realize that you can't fail God sis all it is is that you have struggled you have struggled you have fallen you have messed up but you cannot fail God God's love is there for you and it's willing to accept you back every moment and that day in my apartment I had to realize that I had went around months with this secret like oh my gosh God what am I doing should I take the books off the shelf I feel like, did I lose my ministry? What did I do, God? What did I do? And the moment he got me calm again, he said, daughter, you can't fail me. You can't fail me. You're still living. You're still breathing. You're still operating on this earth. So quit listening to the enemy. Quit listening to what you think people are going to say about you. Quit listening to the backlash. Quit listening and realize you can't fail me. When you walk in truth, you are set free. When you step into your purpose and you walk in truth, you are set free. You cannot fail God. And so that's for somebody today. I want you to realize you can't fail God. And as I tie this story back on about letting go and becoming that girl, you had to realize that I had to realize 
that there was a reason why God had to let the divorce happen because he needed to show me that there were still cracks in my foundation. What good is there to build a beautiful home if the cra if the foundation is off? What good is there to build a beautiful ministry if the foundation is off? God had to let some things go that was cracked in my foundation so we can get to looking at it. He said, daughter, I know you built something beautiful, but there's still cracks there that I want you to work on. There's still some cracks I need to reveal to you. There's still some things that before you get too big and before this thing gets too high, I want to deal with this now. So I want to tell you today, daughter God, the last thing is that the cracks can't go with you to the places God's leading you. There are some cracks in your foundation that God is beginning to reveal to you as you listen to this message. And I know that he's saying that these things can't go with you. So you know what, Morgan, the stepdaddy and the marriage with the mom, it was too impure. It couldn't go with you. The cracks from your childhood, it was not right. You, it couldn't go with you. The places that I'm taking you, it can't go with you. So daughters of God today, before you have to run around a mountain and live the same year twice, or before you have to do the same deed over and over, before you learn, listen today, listen today, work on the cracks in your foundation. Listen to me today so you don't have to make the same mistakes I did. Listen, because there are some cracks in your foundation and if you're not careful, you're gonna keep bringing the same things in your life saying, God, why does it still keep looking the same? And he says, it's the cracks, daughter. It's the cracks of your worth. It's the cracks in your confidence. It's the cracks in your ability. It's the cracks in your mind. God wants to deal with the cracks of your foundation because that is how you truly become that girl. You don't become it because you look cute. You become it because you start to deal with the foundational issues in God. And he begins to create something more beautiful. He cleans up the inner man so the outer man can reflect it. So today, I want to tell you, God wants to heal your cracks, daughters of God. And I please don't go like I did to where you had to go around a lot of seasons and mountains to realize the cracks in your foundation. Don't, don't, God, you don't have to get in bed with someone to realize you got a crack. You don't have to. I want you today to pay attention and say, Holy Spirit, show me the cracks in my foundation. Show it to me. And the reality of it, there was a crack in my foundation. It tied to my, my parents' marriage. It tied to upbringing. It tied to being touched at a young age. And it was something I swept under the rug for many years. And, and it's something I ignored. And the reality of it was, is the moment that they shattered, I shattered. Because I never dealt with the crack in my foundation. And so, daughters of God, today, I want you to deal with that crack because I would hate for you to get further in your life just to realize that there's still things pulling you back. God says the crack that you're dealing with, he wants to deal with it today so that when you go further in the next month, next six years, next six months, you don't have to deal with this thing anymore. God wants to heal you from it. And I want to tell you, God helped me grow through this. He helped me heal from this when, he, when I realized the cracks, but when I realized I couldn't fail him. So, daughters of God, I want to leave you with that today. Letting go to become that girl starts with acknowledging your story, starts with accepting what happened and how it changed you. Accept that. The next thing is forgiving yourself and forgiving others. Realizing you can't fail God. And last but not least, acknowledging that the cracks in your foundation is something God wants to deal with because he can't go with you to the new season that he's trying to take you into. And so I realized that the cracks I was experiencing all the way up until 2020 couldn't go with me into 2022. There was a reason why God needed to break some things, reveal some things, and show me some things so I couldn't take this with me further. It really reminded me of the book of Hosea because I was reading a scripture and it talked about, I will betroth you to me in faithfulness and you will know me like never before. And he also is talking to us about that you have played with the harlot. You've done a lot of things, but if you come to me, I will speak to you tenderly there. I will love you and I will tell you new things about yourself. And in that place, you will know me. You won't call me Lord anymore. You will call me husband. You will call me like something so close, something so pure, something so genuine. And the reality is when I began to read that scripture, I realized, God, I needed to get back to that place with you. Because the reality is these cracks caused me to feel like you wasn't that anymore. And so daughters of God today, I pray that my story helps you realize the very cracks in your foundation. The very cracks. So you don't got to go through what I went through, but you can start to overcome and you can get the revelation that God has for you, for your life. So I pray that you are blessed by this week's morning coffee, the part that you enjoyed the most. I want you to leave it in the comment section below. And last but not least, daughters of God, I want you to be so inspired that God does want you to become that girl. But you've got to let go of you to become her. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.